I now understand. Oh my goodness. So for those of you who don't know, there was recently an interview or a clip that I came across of Tyrese and Benjamin Crump. And Tyrese is talking about, hey, they had an Asian hate crime bill, okay? They made it law so that if you were to do anything to Asians maliciously, you could, you know, go to jail. It is game over. President Biden and Kamala Harris signed an Asian hate crime bill, which makes it beyond illegal to ever purposely and maliciously do anything to anybody in the Asian community. Now, as you guys know, I did a video on hate crimes and everything, and I was hearing what Therese was saying. Now, just so we're clear, what Therese is saying is inaccurate, right? The bill doesn't do any special or exclusive privileges to Asians. You could always, as far as go to jail for being maliciously or, you know, trying to harm Asian people, okay? And the bill reinforces that notion for all hate crimes. But what he's referring to is the findings of the bill that specifically label out Asian people as a group and the people who've been harmed and certain statistics off of Asian hate crimes during COVID, yada, yada, yada. Now, the bill is called COVID-19, you know, Hate Crimes Act. Then he goes on, why isn't there a bill for, you know, black and brown people? Skips over every black and brown Mexican and Latino that have been getting killed like flies. What? and he makes it a law. He loses me here first. He loses me here. I don't know why we're coupling black and brown. You're not black and brown, you're black. So I don't know why you trying to, to bring everybody on and be all inclusive. That's not what's happening currently right now in the country. Nobody's being inclusive to black people. They are piggybacking off of our history and laws that were meant for us to benefit them, all right? so. I, I'm tired when I hear black people say that. Well, why aren't there any laws for black and brown? Cut that nonsense out. Cut that nonsense out, okay? They're doing just fine in the country. They're, they're doing just fine. I don't know if you happen to notice, it's us who has been neglected. But then he goes on to say all this, you know, why aren't there any laws for that? You know, Asian hate crime. Now, Benjamin Crump is an attorney, right? He knows what he's saying is legally impossible, be it violation of the Constitution, all right? Be it just a violation of uh, equal protection, right? That would be a violation. He doesn't say anything. You wonder what this simpleton, doltish individual says? He says, well, that's why we got to vote, okay? That's why it's so important to vote. And, you know, we got to speak from the heart. And we speak from the heart. We went. That's, the that's, why, we, that's why we got to vote. And we got to make sure our voices are heard, Tyrese. Huh? And it matters when we speak up and speak truth to power when we speak what's on our heart we will be heard i beg your pardon but first you got to have the courage to speak up and that's why i love you tyrese you speak your heart and your heart will never fail you i beg your pardon so it's just just absolute freaking slave mindset babble absolute slave mindset babble and what's really troubling is that the fact that he knows better he's an attorney he knows what Teresa's saying is, is not possible, is inaccurate, but gets me thinking, right? It gets, it gets me thinking. Y'all know I don't care about men, women, I care about facts and evidence, all right? And a lot of the issues that I had with people talking about, well, Lucas, the Asian hate crime bill, Lucas, is, I'm like, wait, everybody's caught up on the findings, right? Everybody's caught up on the findings, not the bill. Even how the bill was addressed as far as the Asian hate crimes bill. OK, specifically for this group of people. That's what it gave off the appearance to anyone who, you know, who, who didn't know anything. Right. To anyone who didn't read the bill. And I saw other black people. Right. People that fall and whatnot. They were saying, hey, we already have a bill for us. We have the civil rights bill. We have the Matthew Shepard and, and James Byrd bill. We have uh, the, the Emmett Till lynching bill. And I'm like, OK. And you know me, I just like to do my due diligence, just to dot my eyes, cross my teeth, and I start digging in to these bills that they said. Now, when you look at the civil rights bill, there is no findings, none. It just says, hey, we want to do this to protect, you know, make sure there's no discrimination on race, sex, all that. Has nothing, doesn't mention black American, doesn't mention African American, doesn't mention racism, doesn't mention any of that. So there's no context for that bill, unless you know why the Civil Rights Act was passed. But if you don't know that, 
That leads, allows people to come up with their own reason, right? If you were to just look at this bill, you would just think, oh, okay, they did this, you know, because they're good people and they wanted to stop, you know, people from discriminating possibly from other people. There is nothing in it regarding black Americans, African, nothing about why this bill came to be, nothing. So, all right, that's a little interesting. Okay, so I go, I go a little further, go a little further. The Matthew Shepard and, and James Byrd Act, okay? That was passed during Obama. Now, I was, you know, I was tuned out when it came to the Obama administration, but I look into it, okay, right? I just look into it. And I look into it, and I come to find out, wait, what's this S909 Matthew Shepard's Hate Crime Prevention Act? That's, that doesn't sound like and James Byrd, right? Because I always, I always wonder, why is there and? James Byrd, because if you guys don't know, Matthew Shepard was a white boy um, who was who was attacked due to him being gay. Right. They tied him to a fence and after they beat him and that was it. OK, a biker, a cyclist came across, thought he was a scarecrow, found out he was a you know, he was a person sent to the hospital. He died because of his injuries. Now, James Byrd, different story. This man tried to, to catch a, a ride with these two. Uh, I think it was three white guys. They beat him up, tied him to the back of his truck drive three miles until, until his head comes off. That's what happened to him. Very night and day, I would argue, very night and day. So I'm like, why is it and James Byrd? You all know why? Because James Byrd wasn't even thought about. This was about Matthew Shepard. This was about an LGBT. That's what this is about, okay? I, listen, I'm calling, calling it like I see it. I'm calling it straight down the line. This was known as the Matthew Shepard's uh, Hate Crimes Act. That's what it was known as. They added James Byrd, the black man, at the end of the bill. And that's what passed. That's what passed. And if you look at that bill, doesn't say anything about James Byrd. Doesn't say anything about uh, Matthew Shepard. If you look at the law, because I looked at it, because they have multiple iterations of the bill, right? It goes House, Senate, House, Senate. And then they get the final bill. Final bill, just with the Civil Rights Act, nothing about black people. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, nothing about James Byrd, not, all that just goes into hate crimes, yada, 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 yada. Now, I then go into the Emmett Till lynching bill. I'm like, okay, the Emmett Till lynching bill, they gotta say something about this. And I look at the bill. It was first introduced, you wanna know when it was first introduced? It was first introduced and it talks about hey, African-Americans were being lynched. Many of these lynchings that took place, you know, uh, uh, you know, it was never punished, right? And it goes on and it gives the findings, the same findings that we had in the, uh, the, the COVID-19 Hate Crimes Act, also known as the Asian Hate Crimes Bill. Same findings of African-Americans labels us, gives us the data behind African-Americans and lynching and what was going on in this country. Do you wanna know what bill passed and, made, and became public law, just like the rest? The one that, removes any type of findings. I, I kid you not, you can look it up yourself. Public law simply says, hey, this is to amend yada yada section section of lynchings act, yada yada, and it goes on. It's like a page, maybe like a paragraph, if, the, if at most. All of the findings was removed from the final public law. All the findings about African Americans, how we were being lynched, all that, just simply puts, hey, it's amending everything. Now, you say what you want to say. I already did the work. I looked into it. Now, I have a different understanding. I have a new perspective on life, okay? I have a new perspective of why everybody is saying, look, they made it specifically about Asia. And, and although they may be inaccurate when it comes to the law, they are correct when it comes to the mentioning of a particular group. Black Americans in all those bills were not mentioned, or they were an afterthought when it came, comes to the Matthew Shepard bill, an afterthought. When it comes to the Emmett Till, they removed that from the findings. No findings in the public law. 
The Asian law, the hate, hate uh, COVID-19 Act, those findings are very much attached with that. So you can see all the Asians' names that are there. You can see all the studies. Hey, Asians were at a high, you know, high risk of a hate crime. Center. You can see all that. So absolutely, they definitely do have a point. They have a point. Whether you like it or not, I always thought, man, you got to get over that. That doesn't mean anything. That's just there, right, to explain why they got the bill. But I'm like, wait, they didn't do that for even the Emmett Till bill. They didn't do that for the Matthew Shepard James Byrd uh, uh, bill. They didn't do that for the Civil Rights bill. And it just so happens to seem, I don't know, I'm not trying to be conspiratorial or anything, but it just so happens to seem that any times when it happens to deal with black people, they remove that. Almost as if they're trying to cover their tracks. I didn't agree at first, but after doing the due diligence of the, the explanations of what bills that we have for black people and everything, I think their criticism is absolutely valid. Absolutely valid. Anyways, guys, that's a video. Um, let me know what you guys think. I'm curious whether or not you still believe Lucas. That's irrelevant. It doesn't matter. OK, it doesn't matter. Or me, I believe, well, if it didn't matter, why they put the findings in the Asian hate crime bill or the COVID-19 hate crimes act if it didn't matter? Clearly didn't matter with the Civil Rights Act to mention us. Didn't matter with the, the, the Matthew Shepard, uh, 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 James Byrd bill to mention us. And it didn't even matter as far as to include it with this in the Emmett Till lynching act. So why include it in their act? That's, I, you got an answer for that one? I don't. And the only answer I do have, uh, you already know what it is going to be. Anti-black. You already know what it is. The foundation of this country. If you happen to disagree, you're more than welcome to call in during disagreement day, Friday through Sunday. There'll be a number on screen. You call in. We duke it out. Otherwise, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like, share, comment. Let me know what you guys think. And subscribe. And all that fun stuff. Till next time, guys. Be amazing.